Hello, this is RA and I'm going to spend some time going over the report builder interface with you to help you customize reports. We find that there's a lot of time that can be spent there so getting the most out of your data to understand what's happening inside of marketing is very important. So spending time here will generate good value later. Alright, so there's a couple ways that I can get to the Report Builder interface. Um, from any report that I generate, there's a Customize button inside of that report that will take me to the Report Builder interface with this report. I can also get there by going to uh, the Reports tab, which is inside of any app or the All Tabs app, uh, All Tabs listing. I go to Reports and I can hit Create New Custom Report. That'll bring me to this interface. Let's orient ourselves over this with this for just one second. So in general, I've got the data for the report in the left-hand column. I've got a report preview, and I've got filters related to this report. In general, how it works is I organize my data, pull it over into this area for reporting preview so I can check my report and I filter it using items in this area. I can notice which report type I have selected for this report at the top and that's often important because the report type dictates which items show up in the left. So if I don't have the data I want to report on I probably need to check the report type or change the report type um, inside of the report. Once a report type is selected for a report, I need to generate a new report to define a new report type for that report. So by customizing an existing report, if all the data in the report type is correct, then it's a fine report type for me, a report for me to customize. If data is not showing up inside that report based on the report type, I'll need to create a new report. The objects will show up in the left hand side inside folders. So there's one object. If I had, and they can expand and contract, if I had leads, there would be a folder over here for the leads information. I've got the behavior information, and these are the fields that have been exposed to this report. If I want to build a formula, that's an advanced feature. I'll talk about that in a minute. So any of these fields have an icon that shows what kind of data it is. This is a text field, this is a number field, this is a date field. And that's important because how I work with this data is often it recognizes what, what kind of uh, data type it is and will dictate how I can use it inside the interface. To get a field from um, the left into the right, I can drag and drop that field or I can double click. Either one will get that information from the left to the right into this preview. Inside the preview there's a number of things that show up. Please be aware that the information that shows up in the preview is just trying to give you an idea of what it's going to look like and it on, normally only holds 20 records. That's so that it runs quickly. If you actually want to see the data you hit the play button, run report, you can hit customize and come back. Using both of those um, often helps us get the report dialed in for what we need. Inside the preview area there are some options at the top. In that menu bar are some formats. There's tabular format, summary, and matrix format. The tabular format is used when I just want to get that data, get it into columns and rows, export it, get it down into Excel, and I just want to go through the data. You may also have listings. You may have information that's going to be printed on labels. Tabular reports are a good format for that. So when I hit tabular it's just going to show whatever fields have been selected in those columns if I want something to show up I double click it or drag and drop and now that data is going to show up once I get a column of data inside the report I can then change how that column shows up I can sort it ascending or descending I can group it 
I can limit rows by this field or I can remove it. So that's how I get it back off of the report. I can also drag and drop. So dragging and dropping is how I can get data back and forth between the report interface and the data design. There's another option which is the summary report which is similar to a tabular but allows me to go in and summarize fields. Now I've got a place where I can summarize that data so I'm going to come in drag and drop onto that area and now this information is going to be summarized by those fields by this field the date field and this is often good if I want to see totals um, like totals emails over time if I want to see totals for how many people converted from um, different campaigns that's a good way to summarize that data and I can either show the details or not show the details. When I click off of details, it's just going to show the records. So if I wanted to see the different um, leads by state, I would set it to summary, turn off the details, and it will give me the totals by that field. The matrix report is more complicated, but one of the most useful in what we need to do. In general, the way that it works is I can have data fields on inside of my rows as well as my columns. So if I wanted to see the types of behaviors that were converting from a campaign, I would put the behavior type field here. And what it's going to do is it's going to show me the columns for these types of data that I have. So in this preview data, I've got 15 people who had email delivered. Five of them had it opened, and again, that's just 20 records. If I wanted to see that by campaign, I would put the campaign in the left-hand side. Let me remove this group. And I don't have some good sample data, so let me, let me change that real quick. So I've got the medium field and then the behavior type field and it's showing me the totals as I build this matrix report. And I am currently not showing the details, just the record counts. So it's given me an idea of how many of these behavior types were produced by this field. I can turn on and off the drop zones inside the what data to show, like showing details or not showing details, or showing record counts or not showing record counts. Sometimes I will have a formula show up inside of um, these calculations, like a percentage. That's how I'd get that percentage to show up inside of the data in a matrix report. We can also do conditional highlighting. Conditional highlighting allows me to select a field give it a value and it will give colors to those fields when it runs if those criteria are met for highs and lows. As you can see I entered that value. It's not going to show it in um, in that color. If I don't like that color I can click on this and it gives me sh some options. It's not a complete palette but it gives me some options for what color I can show and this helps for scanning to see if we're too low or too high at any given time for excesses. I can generate this report, run it very quickly and determine if there's certain data that meets those criteria for good additional highlighting. I can also add charts from this area. We'll go into charts in a separate section. Then I can remove all columns and just start from scratch start over. So that's what's happening inside of the preview area. Let's go up to the filters. Inside the filters I've got um, I can add the filters. It gives me a row right here and I select the field that I want to filter and I select the criteria for matching and then I can either um, use this interface or depending on the field type I can come back and determine how the data works. Notice that the options for matching, the matching options change when I change what field I select. So if I wanted everything that contains um, 
cost per click. I'd run that and it would come up with no results, but I think you get the idea. If I want to go back and change the way that that works, I can hit edit or I can remove it. I can also move this criteria. So that's how I change what filters show up. Again, I got there from hitting add, selecting the field that I want to um, filter on. And I use um, for text fields, like this campaign field, which is a text field, we use um, contains quite a bit. That's where it's anything that has that text that I enter here. It's anything that will um, that will match this text inside of the campaign field. I also use a lot of date fields. So that's what will help you filter your results inside of the data and change those filters. And once I'm done, I just hit run report. And here's the data inside my report. If I hit customize, it will go back to this interface. Let's remove that conditional highlighting. That's a little cleaner. So I've got this data inside the, the matrix. That's what's showing up in my report here. I can now hit save as and keep that data. So you can see the different um, behavior types that were being produced by these different um, mediums. So it tells me how well my display is working versus email versus other types of marketing campaigns. So that is the report builder interface inside of Honeycomb. Thank you.